bought a bus. This is Lily, our German-made 1973 Volkswagen Type 2. She needs a lot of work. Luckily, the previous owner already had the engine rebuilt last year. She needs some minor body work, the front end lifted back to factory height, paint, interior, and a lot more. This will be the first video of many to follow, documenting her restoration. First, we'll install seat belts, new side mirrors, and make a new gear shifter for her. So here we go. We're gonna start with the buckle side, which is already an M12 nut plate. Uh, that's already has good threads on it here, so I'll be easy to put in. I'm also going to use a little bit of thread locker. Make sure you use the removable kind, not the red kind, because then you'll really screw yourself. The kit does come with a lock washer. Um, I'm not really a big fan of these, but I'm going to throw that on anyway, so it's sort of double backup protection from all the vibrations. So here's how it goes. All right, so down here on the bottom, the other side, the threads were pretty bad on the previous hole, so I went ahead and uh, re-tapped them. Uh, so they're not great, and I'm gonna put another nut on the back side to act as sort of a jam nut, so it'll be all nice and safe. Um, and again, this is M12 with a 1.5 pitch, pretty much for every bolt this size on the vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and put a nut on the back side of that nut plate to act as sort of a jam nut and extra insurance. And then now the seatbelt mechanism part is going to go down like so. Same thing, the lock washer just to be safe, thread locker. Whoops. And it only comes with big washers, so we're not going to use a normal washer here. Alright, and now for the shoulder point. It has again another threaded nut plate. The threads on this guy are already good, so I'm going to reuse it. Alright, and then the mirrors on this guy are pretty sad. You can see somebody tried to glue them in place. Um, and yeah, the threads are totally stripped to lock it that way. So, gonna replace these with some nice, shiny, brand new mirrors. So, do that right now. Awesome. So, the threads look good. I ordered a nut to go on the back side, which is kind of difficult to thread in there, but. The factory threads are good. We're gonna repaint this, so I'm just gonna slap the new ones on. And there is a gasket they sell that goes over it, so I bought one of those that helps prevent more water getting in there and rusting your door out. Here's the gasket I'm talking about. I've seen a number of videos where people don't use the gasket. And then the mirrors are super easy. This thread threads into there. And there's this other little nut on here that acts as a jam nut, so you thread this in and then you tighten this guy down, sort of lock it in place. homemade uh, soft jaws. All right, to make a new gear shifter for the bus, I got some of this turquoise pigment powder, which should be fairly close to the paint and the end paint we want to go with. My pineapple mold, this is where I put my surfboard resin, uh, excess resin pores, and then some surfboard sanding resin. You want this to have laminating resin because it will actually dry hard. Some catalyst and then we're going to mix it and uh, see if we get a good color and get a nice pineapple gear shifter. So here we go. Alright, 
Time to demold it. It looks fairly cured. Not bad. It's a little more powder blue than teal, but it'll do the trick for now. I did two test pieces with some limited success, so screw it. Let's try it. Let's get rid of this cue ball and put on our pineapple. And there's our pineapple. First, first, second, third, fourth.